we're here at Bank of America Stadium for this matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the Carolina Panthers. Get ready to light up the scoreboard for this one, Phil. Moments to kick off. Yeah, it's a good thing it's electronic and not man-held up there because he would be one tired guy when this game's over. They're going to score. They're going to score easily. They're going to score a lot. It's going to be fun to watch. And Ted Ginn will get a chance here on the kickoff. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. The Panthers come out in the pistol. First and ten. Williams up the middle, trying to establish the run, but there's nothing there here at the start. Well, they didn't pick up many yards that time, no doubt about it, but that's a bad job by the running back. He picked the wrong side to run to. Nobody was blocked on the side he went to. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. The margin of error against man-to-man -man defense is much smaller for a quarterback than it would be against zone defenses. That time, the quarterback right on target. Good throw. This play set up by the long gainer. It's handed to the running back. Five, maybe six out of that. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so you keep crowding that line of scrimmage. Look out. They'll throw it over the top. The Panthers lined up in the pistol. D'Angelo Williams. When your defensive tackles are playing really well, it is amazing what it can do for a defense. That time they stop the inside run, and it just lets the outside defenders and everybody else run free because of how well they are playing. The Panthers at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. Touchdown, Panthers. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting them ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. Panthers with the PAT to come. It's good. Panthers ready to get the pigskin in the air. be taken down well short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 15. They come to the line and it's first down. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. They've got him down there. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Russell Wilson connects with Golden Tate. He's got some daylight. No one's going to get him now. The 20, the 10, touchdown. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. Add the extra point, the kick is good. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. And he begins his return. Yeah. 
It's first down as they head to the line. Williams handed the football. They deck him in the backfield. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Halfway through this first quarter now. Running away from the pressure. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That's an interception. The tackle is made. What a terrible job by the quarterback. But nobody's open. Tries to force the pass. And look, what's it turn into? An interception. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Takes it on the counter. They're going to run it right. They spot it at the 42. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. They're able to move the chains after that last run. running it like it's an option play. They tackle him for a loss. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Wilson's back in shotgun formation. Going across the middle. The interception. Job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. First down here. Escaping the pressure, it's got room. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. Cam Newton is one of the best in the game at running the football, as we saw it right there. Yeah, he definitely is. You know, the coaches on the sideline for the Carolina Panthers, they don't even yell, get down, because Cam Newton's bigger than just about anybody that's going to try to tackle him. Looking to scramble, no separation at all. Incomplete. You cannot play quarterback in the NFL anymore if you don't have good footwork. And that means in the, inside the pocket or outside the pocket. Avoid those sacks. Come on now. Coming up, second down. Set up screen. And Williams tackles made. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. Williams is in the backfield from the shotgun. Throws to the right. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Newton in shotgun formation. Challenging the defenders to the right side. He's brought down. I guess that's how we're going to be today, isn't it? Uh, we're just going to go for it on fourth down. That time they go for it, and they get it. Good job. They've got a first down now after that catch. On the run. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. And Williams, he stacked up at that point. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. First down here. Newton standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. That wraps up the first quarter here in Charlotte. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the second. Cam Newton will take the snap out of the gun. Throwing now to his left. Puts up six. 
Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. Makes the PAT. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. Offense lines up here. They give it to the running back. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. That's second down coming up. Wilson from the shotgun. In trouble now. Charles Johnson gets to him for the sack. Well, if your offensive line's not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you gotta help him out. How do you do that? Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out, too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. Taking it right up the middle. Ball's on the ground. They're running the option. Here's the pitch. And he's brought to the ground. Just when you thought they may have a costly turnover, they're able to somehow recover the football. You know, Jim, you know what happens to guys on offense when they fumble the football? You know where they go? To the bench. That's where this man is going. You fumble it, you're in trouble, you take him out of the game. Now first and ten. Complete. Deeply able to quiet the cause. Well, the only thing I can say about that play was better than the incompletion. The quarterback gets the completion, and they pick up a yard or two. Lynch is a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. Second and seven. Ball is out, and the recovery is made by the defense. They pounce on him there. That was just a terrible job by the offensive player that time. Protect the football. No excuse for letting it uh, fumble the football in a situation like that. Panthers come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. Well, you play this cover, cover four. In other words, you've got four defenders playing deep, equally spread across the field. Well, who's going to cover the end cuts and underneath? Nobody. That's why the quarterback got an easy completion that time on the end round. Well, the quarterback can't get him open. He threw to the right guy that time, but the coverage was so good by the defense, uh, nowhere to get the completion. The offense needs two yards here on third down following the incompletion. The Panthers now move the chain. Jim, that was some job of making the catch and holding on to the football. You could hear that hit all the way up here to boot. That reception gave them the first down. Looking to the right side and throwing. Tackled down at the 28-yard line. Sometimes they tell the receiver just to go long, run a fly route, run a nine route, because that means straight ahead or a streak. Show the speed that you have and get it done. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Middle. This will be second down. Pumps, fakes the throw. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Anytime you picked up a couple first downs, here's what happens. The defense starts to doubt what they're doing, but maybe more importantly, it gets those big boys over there tired. Here's the first snap after the big play. And Williams is going to secure the handoff. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. And now they'll try over again on second down. Williams got it on the handoff. That time I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision and it cost his team yards lost. Looking for an open receiver. Brings it in for the score in the end zone. 
gets pretty tight down in here when you got third and goal. Not a lot of room for receivers to work in, but the quarterback and receiver, they're on the same page. Good throw and catch. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. They'll take it at the 20. defensive backs out on the field for this one looking down the field makes the catch deep down the middle of the field well the way the rules are in the NFL now you can't hit the receivers you can't hit the quarterback and if you give the quarterback this kind of time he is always going to find an open receiver and now on first down they'll go back to the air reaches in and that pass is incomplete Safeties are taught so much. Diagnose plays, read the quarterback, read the receiver. That time, the safety did it all. That's why he was in great position to knock the football away. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Two-minute warning. That was a big hit by the defender that time. The receiver drops the football. I'll tell you what, I guarantee the next time he goes over the middle, he'll be looking for that defender. The Seahawks come to the line with a bunch set. He'll fire it out to the left. Quentin Michael makes the tackle. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. Running backs, they love counter runs. They know when a defense has been over pursuing, so they make that fake one way, and when they cut it back, there's usually a great running lane there. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. Man, what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Quarterback tosses it to the outside. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Got a chance to return this one. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Panthers come to the line with five wide outs and no one in the backfield. Newton connects with Steve Smith. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. First down here after the completion. Escaping the pressure. He's into the open. He is tackled right at the 50. Cam Newton is so good. They designed runs for him. But I think he's more dangerous when he drops back and he just takes off. Because now you've got defensive backs all running down the field with wide receivers. He can make it happen once he gets in the open field. It's now second down. Cam Newton takes it from the shotgun. Throws to the right. That ball was going the other way. 
in on the stop. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Quarters formation here for the defense. To the ground here. Got a big lane. And it's Luke Keekley who makes the tackle. Well, the long run that time, and there's a lot of reasons why they got that long run. But the, the biggest one, the good blocking up front, but what patience for the running back. He did not panic because it took a while for that running lane to develop. When it did, he saw it, he hit it, and he used his talents to get down the field for the big game. The Seahawks decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. Russell Wilson has it under center. Second down, two to go. The defense had that one covered. Nice job that time by the wide receiver on the post route. He's open, but the quarterback throws it too far and misses it. The offense needs two yards here on third down following the incompletion. He's looking to go down the field here. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. The Seahawks getting set to attempt the field goal. A missed kick on the long field goal try, and now the momentum swings the other way early in the game. Oh, yes, it changes things in this game, no doubt about it. And I'll tell you, that's why you pay head coaches all that money. They have to make decisions just like that. Either punt it or go for the long field goal. They didn't make it. We'll see if the defense can bear the team down. Receivers are bunched up. Second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Gets away from the pressure, breaks free, has some space to work with. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. Setting up a little screen. That brings the play to an end. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Screen pass. He had no time to get set. Offense lines up here. Second and goal from the four. D'Angelo Williams. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Third and goal from the six. Getting away from the pressure. They're going to get him this time. I don't know what the quarterback was looking at. He had to know the defense was blitzing that time. Doesn't make a quick enough decision, and the defense gets there and gets the sack. Running back goes in motion. Trying to beat the play clock. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Caught it, but his feet are out of bounds. It's fourth and long. What do you expect to always pick these situations up? That's bad game management, bad play call, bad decisions by the coach. 
Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down coming up. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. It'll be third down. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Ball's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Looks like they'll go three and out on this series. Russell Wilson has it under center. Ball's picked off. Good piece of that. Give a lot of credit to the defense this time. They got the offense backed up. It's inside its own 20. They're aggressive, and being aggressive gives them a chance to get the interception, and they make it. Nice play. receivers stacked up on this play looks to his left under fire on that throw nice situation here for the offense they're winning the football game now they're in the red zone let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense failing to complete that one so second down here as good as it gets touchdown well what a play for the touchdown and I'll tell you in the NFL there's so many good players on offense now. You can never have enough points. So keep padding on that lead. Good job. Good score. The point after try is in the books. Panthers ready to get the pigskin in the air. Tackles made right around the 25-yard line. Quarters formation here for the defense. As they go ground here, he's tackled at the 30. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. And that ball's nearly picked off, but he dropped it. That was excellent man-to-man -man coverage at time. When you want to shut down a receiver, really the only way to do it is to man up and play him one-on-one. -on -one. After the incompletion, third and four coming up. And he's going to pitch it here. Has the first down. Now looking for more. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Staying with the running game on first down. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Russell Wilson has it under center. Second and four. The throw to the left. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. Running to the right, and that gains a few. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. 
at it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. You might as well catch it because you're going to take the big hit no matter what. That time, the receiver lets the ball go because he was worried about the defender making the hit. Offense lines up here. No room to complete that one. I don't know what was more terrible. That was a terrible route. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Oh, and what a shot. It's incomplete. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The Seahawks turned the ball over on downs. Good job that time by the defense. They give up the long drive. But on fourth down, they come through. What a good play call. And they stop the offense. Williams is in the backfield. Newton's going to take it from the gun. Makes the catch in open space. In the promised land. Touchdown. You got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seating. And what do you get? An easy it's touchdown. The Panthers line up now for the point after. The flag is down. Count it. Defense. Players from both sides the making an appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. They face first down. <laughs> Trying to work that left side. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Here we have second down. Throws to the right. The Seahawks get a first down. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, they're teaching all these guys in the NFL, don't hit high, and we might be seeing more of this, lower body injuries, because of the defensive players, they're learning. Hit them lower. Won't get any flags thrown that way. That's a face mask call, and of course, for now on, it's 15 yards no matter how you slice it. They don't even have to interpret it anymore. The severity of it, it's a big penalty. Yeah, it is a big penalty. Uh, you know, one thing, you know why we see a lot of face mask penalties in the NFL now? It's because players tackle too high. Get your arms around the waist. Go down low to make those tackles, and you wouldn't get those face mask penalties. And it's incomplete. In the NFL, you got to throw the football deep down the field, but the quarterback just, he overthrows it. Russell Wilson has it under center. And second and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. The Seahawks now move the chains. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Right where it had to be. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still... They're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Quentin Michael picks off that pass. Wonderful job by the defense that time. They stayed after it, and inside their own 20, they finally come up with a play 
they get the interception and they keep the other team from getting points on the board. On first down, Williams going to take the handoff now. They break through, tackle them behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second and 12. Running back gets it on the handoff. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, a foot race to the end zone. The 20, the 10. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. To me, still one of the most exciting plays in NFL football. A long running play for a touchdown. And how about that when it had it all in its speed, good moves, good blocks, exciting touchdown. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be okay. He's a little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Wilson's a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Pitches it back. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. That wraps up the third quarter here in downtown Charlotte. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the fourth. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. That ball is picked off. Anytime you're backed up on the offensive side, the quarterback's got to be extremely careful because if you turn it over, you're just giving points to your opponent. Bedtime, a bad decision by the quarterback, and he throws it easy. 